Hi, how are you? This is uh, Alejandro Sandoval from the video blog Solo Negocios on May 31st, 2018 with a summary of the Solo Negocios Bulletin. Today we're going to talk obviously about the tariff imposed from the US to Mexico, Canada and the European Union on steel and aluminium. Uh, tomorrow was the date that was to be supposed to, the date to be over the exemption on these tariffs for these two, two types of products. But uh, we expected and we talked about this during the last days that it was going to be changed to a future date. Well, it didn't happen. US today announced the tariffs to Mexico and Canada and the European Union and immediately Mexico answered it with tariffs to be imposed and measured upon whatever the tariffs uh, on steel and aluminium will be imposing to uh, or against Mexico. Mexico will be uh, answering against the US with the same uh, measure on flat steel, lambs, pig legs, sausages, apples, grapes, blueberries, some cheeses, among others. So the door is open for a great commercial war worldwide, because right now the US is negotiating with China over similar issues. It is against the European Union with these uh, tariffs and also against its neighbors and partners under NAFTA, Canada and Mexico. Canada also announced some other tariffs and, and answers or retaliation against the United States. And well, right now NAFTA is in doubt given this commercial war if it's activated. Now, also we have to include that given that NAFTA is, hasn't been uh, ended its negotiations, then probably we'll have to rush or I'll wait until January 2019 and if that happens a new president will come in and probably a president that will want a Mexican president that will want to include some extra elements like migration immigration issues on the NAFTA deal and if this happens then it will probably break down or at least get a longer um, stance of time for to be negotiated given this issue well basically for in the forex market there were, there were lower positions in pesos the Bloomberg um, dollar spot index increased 0.10%. Basically, this uh, under the whole scheme and, and situation, there were not important um, data available. And in Banco de Mexico, the exchange hedges were demanded over 4.65 times more than the $100 million offered for 32 days. And this and this rings a bell. Basically, what, what is happening is that we, we are having a, a, an exchange rate right now the biggest one at Monex Bank, 20 pesos with 55 cents. But the depreciation is almost 1% in some of the measures that we, we manage here. So what is happening here right now is that we will be uh, requiring the Banco de Mexico to react to this situation and potentially increase whether they are the exchange hedges or sell dollar reserves that we have in Banco de Mexico and even increase the rate of the interest rate uh, on June 21 on the next meeting for Banco de Mexico after potentially the Federal Reserve will be increasing its rate in June 13. So given these scenarios, a whole set of volatilities very big worldwide besides the electoral stance in Mexico. So basically we have to take into account these elements to try to measure whatever uh, decision making you are you're, you're about to make and well, obviously uh, consider the different elements uh, included in this situation. This potential worldwide uh, commercial war will be uh, affecting a lot the poorest people, the IMF already said that, and increasing prices basically everywhere. The support for the Mexican peso changed to 1949, 45 pesos per dollar, and a range for the resistance position over 20.6 up to 21.20 pesos per dollar. So right now it's a very wide spread, potential spread, and, and, and this is not good because this is also over the wholesale market. Spread diminished a little bit re uh, with respect to yesterday, but on the futures market, the things didn't improve pretty much, we could say. Basically, this is what we have on the solo negocio summary. There's also other markets reviewed on the document. Please visit it. And we will have tomorrow a video blog, well, two video blogs with two editorials. One uh, explaining the federal, the Financial Mexican Institute proposal to the candidates of the presidency in Mexico with a set of proposals to be used as the National Development Program for 2019-2024 presidential term. 
Uh, we will be also developing another one over the tariffs issue over uh, steel and aluminium. So keep in touch and we will be looking at you and seeing you tomorrow.